Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. It's the same tarot. Today we're gonna do a reading for the collective. Welcome back, you guys. Um, I just did Scorpio, Gemini, and Aries reading. Um, those are up right now. I did full for Scorpio and Gemini, and yeah, and I did your mini as well. So hope you guys are enjoying that. I know my channel is based on a lot of Gemini's and a lot of Scorpio supporters and Aries as well, Tauruses as well. Um, I'm just now building up my caps and um, my sat uh, uh, audience as well. So thank you guys for, you know, supporting the channel, you guys. I really, really appreciate it. But anyways, this is for the collective. So hope you guys, um, I hope this message does resonate with you. But if it doesn't, I will have a link in the description box. Like always, I have all these playlists for all the Zodiacs collective, whatever you want. It is there and it's in the description box your collective link but if you want to see all the rest of the playlists they're on my channel my main channel and just go to playlists i believe if you want to see those okay so let's get into what you guys can see what's going on for the collective i hope your weekend is going really well all right it's very beautiful and cold day today in atlanta so we have the devil here you guys so Wow, I am. Why am I feeling like every time I use this deck and I see this picture, I feel like this person know that they have baggage and they have things that they're dealing with, but this person is reaching out to you, um, pulling you into them, and it's very hard to get away from this person. This is what I'm getting for some of you with this devil situation here. Um, like this person is very attracted to you, and you are to them. There's a lot of uh, fire here, a lot of flames here. Um, Like, this person has a lot of things going on in their lives that you don't know about, like a lot of secrets. I'm also getting um, communication is cut with this person. For some of you, this person might have had been married to someone else and you found out about it and you cut this person off. I feel like for some of you, um, this communication here um, is very serious. You guys could have been dating for a while or been together for a while for some of you it could be like five years with this queen of swords here because it's a serious form of communication okay this person is very very upset um in their feelings very cold towards this person not communicating right now um blocked <laughs> um for some of you it might just be that this person that's coming through is haven't been in touch with you in a while and they don't know how to um, get back to you or talk to you because it's been a while that they have been gone out of your life okay so this person wants to reach out i feel like this person in the devil like they just want to reach out so bad to you oh my god like they're like come here you know already you know come to me that's what i'm getting from this person you know maybe that was something that you and this person had like this person usually say to you I have the nine of wands here so this is a past relationship that's coming through okay a lot of history here with this nine of wands in reverse i feel like you this person put you through a lot you were burnt out from this person for some of you i feel like you know you might feel like you are done fighting for this person but i feel like this person is not yet done fighting for you um or i just feel like you've just been through a lot with this person and i don't feel like you're closing the doors to this relationship you know then we have the nine of cups here wow this is a twist and turn so you got a lot of passion coming through here and a lot of love from this person okay the collectives please wow so you don't know what to do you don't know what to do um because this person feels like you know like there is something special about this person that you are with um or you're not with at this present time and i feel like this is you and the high priestess which is in reverse where you feel like um like you're torn like you can't even trust what you want right now because what you want is this person you know you want this person but this person has a lot going on did a lot to you for some of you um they really i feel like this person really just disrespected you in a way where you know you gave your trust to this person this person betrayed you okay it could have been where they 
have had someone else, a third party connection, or this person probably took a lot from you, um, you know, or did something really bad to betray you. But I feel like there is a disconnect here where you don't know what you want to do. Okay. I feel like you're codependent on other people at this present time in the high priestess in reverse. I feel like you're not trusting your intuition. I feel like you um, don't know what to do about the situation, like where you're torn. Like you don't trust yourself around this person. And I feel like because you still love this person, you still want this person, you know, and you know that this person still wants you. I feel like you make this person feel like you're everything that they need, you know, you know, but you're right now, you're like, your walls is up with this person. Like your intuition is just like all over the place. Um, and it's because this person hurt you in the high priestess, you know, I feel like you're very secretive. You don't want to open up to this person. Um, you're like cut off right now because of mistrust, you know, but here comes this nine of cups where this person is definitely not thinking about losing you. They feel like they have you and you know, you are not going anywhere because you are there their their deepest wish their deepest desire i feel like this person has been waiting for you and here you are their fulfillment their wish you know they want to be successful with you it's all about success is a nine of cups you know here's the ten of cups <laughs> the nine of cups always follows the ten of freaking cups and it's funny how it comes out in your reading i mean what look at that the Ten of Cups, you're definitely not letting go from this person. I don't see, even if you try your best to move on, it, this is unfinished business. Like, you and your person wants to be together. I feel like a lot of, it's more about embarrassment here, if anything. Like, you want to teach this person a lesson because other people are telling you to do this. Don't take this person back because they did this to you. They don't deserve you. You you are this, you are that, you know? But the truth is, you have to do what you want to do at the end of the day. You cannot make other people make your decisions for you because it slows up the process. It slows up the process of what really needs to be done here or what needs to happen. And you and your person really want to be with each other. You really see each other happy. Look at those children in the back. You guys are crazy. Okay, come on. Stop playing. All right. Let this play. Stop playing around, you guys. <laughs> Collective. Okay. Then we have the two of wands. Wow, in the reverse. Mm, that's interesting. Let's see what else. You have the five of wands. A lot of fire coming through here. And the five of wands, I, I believe, is other people coming through here. That's why, you know, I feel like th this is this is the offer here, the two of wands. Your person wants to give you the world, right? Okay? This is in the reverse, okay? So I'm thinking that you're not going to take this offer all because of all these situations that's happening with other people coming in. It could be a third-party connection. This person could be married with someone else in a toxic relationship. Here is the devil. That's the first card that came out is the devil in your reading okay and then we have the apology wow okay look at that you have the four of cups so you're over this so this probably happened with you in this you know I feel like if it's not with this person, it could be with other relationships where they ended the same way and you're kind of tired of it. But the Four of Cups is very, very uh, tricky as well because this is how you're feeling at this present time where you're just over this. You want to move on. You can't take it anymore. Uh, you just want a clean slate. But the truth is, it's all because you are upset. You are angry at this present time with this person. I feel like, look at this, the Three of Pentacles. Like you don't look at this person like somebody that you, it's just, it's, it's all because this person really just disappointed to do you don't admire them anymore in the three of pentacles come on you know and then you have the knight of pentacles right here where confidence the confidence is shut the tower moment have happened between you the wheel of fortune cycle you know um the six of the six of swords you're trying to move on with your life trying to move on forward because your person have cheated on you with the seven of cups here and then you know of course this person was sleeping with other people unprotected 
because the seven of cups is in reverse okay they were heavily into some kind of relationship with these people and it got out of control okay the funny thing about that is with the seven of cups it wasn't anything long term it was just having fun in the moment you know living this life you know that's what i'm feeling right now for this person there's going to be an apology coming towards you it's going to be a good one yeah for that look out for that you know try to stay on the positive side of things because i know that you're in your feelings with your person because this person hurt you so you're in your feelings you can't wait for, for them to see you and the funny thing is you guys haven't spoken in a while because of the queen of cups for some of you this could be probably um two years for some of you a year this is the queen of swords in reverse so it's a while that you guys haven't talked probably five years for some of you and now all of a sudden this person is coming out of nowhere wants to you know finish this um go back to this relationship that you guys have together or the plans that you guys had together at one point but the, the funny thing is like i said you know this person is in the nine of cups where they really look at you or somebody that they really want to be with really want to end up with with the kids and everything but they just know that you are just they don't know where your head is you know um if you're going to accept if you're going to slam the door in their faces what else angels we have divine timing wow divine timing is necessary okay we got three cards that actually slipped out we have the tower the ace of swords and then we have the five of cups so the tower in reverse i feel like there was just no communication when this thing ended for some of you might have just ghosted each other decided not to call each other no more um because of what happened this moved on without any clarity you know, the Ace of Swords is here, a form of communication that needs to happen. I feel like, I feel like, you know, this is, this is it, like, old to me. Like, what am I getting, like, this happened a few months ago, or this happened a year ago, and this person is trying to figure out how to approach you, what to say, how to make this right, because they abandoned you in the Five of Cups, you know? When you found out what was going on, like this person shut down and abandoned you. That's what I'm getting here. Like you felt abandoned. Like this person needs to care about your well-being and care about you. And I feel like, you know, because of this relationship in the high priestess, you felt like, and the five of cups, you felt like, okay, well, I'm not going to try anymore to be with anyone. This was the last time. I tried to find love, like there is no love out there for me. I'm not going to try anymore because this was the last time I try to have this work out with this person and this person is going to betray me. Like this is it. Anything else for the collective, please? Anything else for the collective? I feel like this person loves you in the Eight of Wands. I just saw that. Going back in the deck. They really love you. Um, okay, the Ace of Pentacles and the Six of Cups. Yeah, this person is from your past. So it's going to be, I, this person is going to approach you. Um, get ready. Um, they're going to come and approach you because they want this legacy with you, okay? It's all about this legacy, this Ten of Cups, this Nine of Cups, this success with you. They want abundance with you. Um, for some of you, you could have been married to this person before, or for some of you, this person is thinking about marriage with you, okay? This person's from your past. You are most comfortable when you're with them. You know, with all this drama past, you're so much more comfortable without this person, um, 
with like you're so much more comfortable like they bring out the childish ways in you you know look at that you know you're so comfortable you could be yourself with it's just different with this person so that's how you know who i'm talking about here angels what's any other messages please the collective Other messages for the collective. Okay, we have the Seven of Pentacles. I feel like someone is definitely not ready to invest in this relationship because of this abandonment issues because of this person i feel like when this person comes to you you're not going to believe this you're just not you're not going to feel safe enough to give this person a try because it was a cycle you know like you've been through this oh oh my goodness you've been through this with this person before and before you have the ace of cups here Okay, so you have the, the page of pentacles, you have the two of swords, and then you have the seven of swords. Yeah, you're not, you are going to try to make a decision for yourself. Then you have the world, the wheel of fortune in river, in, in the back of the deck. Look, a cycle, the wheel of fortune. But, you know, in the long run, this might just work out with this wheel of fortune here, okay? Nobody has a relationship that, um... When you see people happy and they're in abundance and everything, it's, it's a test that they have passed. Trust me. Um, so, you know, when this person comes to you, you're not going to be safe. You're not going to feel safe enough to take this, um, this, this, this offer that this person is giving you. Okay. The Ace of Cups is here in reverse. This person wants a new beginning with you. They're going to offer you the Ace of Cups, you know, which is everything that you ever wanted. This long ass term relationship, this serious, deep ass love, this new beginning that this person wants with you, but you're just like, no, I don't believe it. What you're going to do that I'm seeing here is that you're going to be in a manipulation, um, technique here where you're just going to bring up everything from the past what this person has done to you and i feel like look if you want to be with this person you need to let that go and i'm going to warn you right now because you know this person do want a new beginning with you they do want love with you they do see you as this beautiful ass person with this nine of cups and this ten of cups they do want the happy ending with you but it all depends on you collectives it all depends on you how you are feeling how you want to approach a situation because what i'm seeing here is that you're putting a hold up on this relationship okay even though you have your reasons don't get me wrong I, you do have your reasons but if you do want this person this is something that you have to think about okay i see a little bit of manipulation energy here you're going to want to make a decision and try to find out the facts for yourself in a two of swords you do want peace with this situation but right now you just don't believe any kind of crap this person is telling you you don't believe it you want to go under investigation and find out the truth about everything that's going on with this person and this is what i see for you collectives i'm gonna leave this right here and go into my next reading and i hope it resonates you guys and if it didn't the link is in below i have a whole bunch of collective readings there for you um and hopefully one of those resonate if this one did not but you are <laughs> you're gonna get an apology and this is a real one okay so don't think that this person is in their ass because they're not they're actually telling you the truth you're probably just not used to this person opening up to you um when they were in a relationship with you and this is like what who is this i don't believe this you are just trying too hard but anyways <laughs> i'm gonna leave this here and i'll see you guys in your next one bye guys